Hi, I'm Joe from JCM Power. Today, we're in Salima, Malawi, on the construction site of our 60 megawatt solar farm. I'm gonna be going through a little bit about what's going on on a day-to-day -day basis, as well as the impact that we're having on many, many Malawian lives. It's a pretty amazing feeling when you work and live and, and grew up in Canada. Sometimes you forget how lucky we are. When you come to a place like this and you see the smiles that they have despite not having some of the necessities or the luxuries that we grew up with, it helps you remember what a real problem is. Six months ago in May uh, 2019, the site was actually not fully cleared. Clearing means uh, that all the vegetation and the trees which have to be removed are actually removed. In the course of May, June uh, this year, we have cleared the whole site and compacted. We are looking to employ at least 300 local Malawian laborers for the project. The ultimate benefits of the project will include more than 20% of the current generation capacity in the country as it is now. Uh, I don't think you see this in too many countries where one project can have that large of an impact uh, in such a short period of time. Right now we're at the Salima construction site and we're here to show you a little bit about how solar energy works and how it's installed and, and the components that are involved. So first things first, we set down these piles, so these steel columns. So they get rammed into the ground using a piling machine. It's basically just a giant hammer. So this goes down by about two meters below the ground to ensure that it's fully stable. From there, there's a mounting system where this orange uh, piece of equipment is, a, is actually a tracker motor. This tracker motor twists the entire tube along the way in which the solar panels sit on. Now the purpose of this is so that we can follow the trajectory of the sun. If you're perpendicular or at a right angle, you're collecting the most energy. So this over the course of the day will turn uh, following the sun. So each one of these solar panels generates about 330 watts. In total, the solar plant has about 230,000 solar panels. This will definitely have an impact on the industry, because investors cannot invest where there is no power. But once they are assured that they've got power supply, I foresee uh, investments and economic activities picking up. There are a lot of countries that JCM could have gone to implement their project, but they chose Malawi. They're looking at the challenges that we are having here in Malawi. This will be a wonderful contribution to the economy and the whole population of Malawi.